and I'll read it again. It says, it's not about what you did or what you said, it's about what you're capable of now doing. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of The Gist, where we discuss African cinema and Nollywood movies. My name is Ali. My name is Kalabi. And today's film is Soul Tie. Soul Tie is about a newly married man who receives an unpleasant shock on his wedding night when his wife reveals religious obligations that prevent consummation of the marriage in the wedding night too. Let us discuss it too. <laughs> Let us discuss. Actually, I'm going to start with Elstow. I'm changing where I start from. <laughs> I have to start from the only place to start. I wrote, I genuinely feel sorry for Ramsey's character. Ah, 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 how can you start it? That's punishment. <laughs> the night of your wedding. Ah, ah. Mm. Ah, that was just evil. I wrote nice costumes, not sure about the wig. Uh, where they had this <laughs> annoying wig yeah. that kept on distracting me the whole yeah. film. Uh, I don't, felt like a stage play, but for me, it was like in a good way. The dialogue was a bit stiff, but stiff in an intentional way. In other words, it was written in a way that was overt, like to yeah. be staged, sort of. And I think it worked. Um, <laughs> I never wrote this woman this wicked 40 days prayer. Okay. <laughs> and it's not just prayer, it's prayer with abstainers from all pleasures, especially sexual pleasure. Anyway, um, I wrote inner dialogue was brilliant. I yes. mean, this is one of the best use of inner dialogue that I've seen in Nollywood. Very well done. Um, I love the way um, the, the the interplay, the chemistry was actually quite good between the two characters. They were supposed to be like starting from the um, day of their marriage and yeah. they really, really carried it through. Um, I, I wrote, Ramsey delivered. He delivered as I did. Oh. And that lady, she matched him. Um, uh, she's Okawa. I can't remember her son, but I was really Shazne. impressed with her. Shazne. Yeah, I think she's Cameroonian. She was brilliant. Really, really good. Um, then I wrote, brave of them to, to adopt this style. Um, this is something you do with care. It's a risk. It might not work. And I think this by and large worked well. Um, it felt very art house and I, I liked it. Um, I think for me, the biggest part of this film for me was that it explored a part of marriage that I don't think I've ever seen explored yeah. this way. Yeah. Um, I think even in Hollywood, I don't think I've seen a film explore this aspect of relationship and I think it did very well. And then for me, one of the highlights of the film was the you no know, the there was a um, card game in the what right yeah what oh my goodness when she when she just when she just said uh, general market that just took me <laughs> back like oh my goodness nostalgia oh nostalgia oh, no, it was brilliant brilliant yeah. good work cool uh my positives were funny premise that's intriguing to watch I mean uh, <laughs> ah that 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 please oh don't do that <laughs> all of our work. all of our beautiful ladies out there. Do your religious obligations before you get married so that on the night, don't then be saying that uh, you are fast. What are you fasting? <laughs> <laughs> don't fast on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me keep quiet. Ah, I said the dialogue is quite good. It had a, a good rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm big into dialogue. If anybody is actually today, we, the day, today that we're shooting, we're actually shooting on the day of the wedding between Harry and Meghan. And anybody who knows Meghan, she comes from Suits. And Suits has one of the dialogues, one of the best dialogues in TV series that I, that I it, it, there's a rhythm to dialogue whereby there's a back and forward between it. And I liked that about this film, that there was a back and forward yeah. that, that worked. Um, and following on from that, I just said, Ramsey is just crazy. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's, there's a way he delivers his lines and the fact that he interjected Yoruba into this, <laughs> Oh, it, you know, was oh, oh, it, it was really oh especially when 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 his wife abused him and said that it's your upbringing. Yeah, daddy, eh? They didn't bring me up well. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's he's a consummate actor. He's yeah, really really good. And um, finally, there's there's a line on there which is one of the best descriptions of the reason why it is very, very hard for two couples to get back together when an issue of domestic violence happens. And the line was this, it said, it's not about what you did or what you said, but it's what you're capable of doing. Once you hit a woman, the fact that you've hit her is the fact that you've shown that you're not capable of hitting her. So whether you say sorry or not, mm -hmm. 
Control yourself. Don't tell me that you are drinking or yeah. Anyway, let me, before I go on this tangent again, because you call your mango Melara. There's one. There's one joke. So it's, it's not a joking matter. But there's one joke. Someone said, "How come all these men that can't control their temper, they never go and punch one guy that's big?" Hey, hey, exactly. You you were drunk. You just went to go and hit one mountain. You know it will crush you now. Yeah. So negatives, right? Yeah. Okay. So I wrote. Uh, hmm. I wrote the day Nollywood will get sued. Okay. So. <laughs> We use a lot of foreign music. Like this one had Whitney. Uh, he, had, he had music from the 60s. Yeah. He had music from all over. And some of them really fit in the, uh, in the film. But I doubt if they're licensing this music because it costs a fortune. The more popular a song is, the more expensive it is to license. If someone just licenses it, it costs as much as it takes to make the film. Well, not in in, in Hollywood money, but in Nigerian money. It, it's, they are I mean, so, let, me, let me even make it more, more clear to you. If you sing the song "Happy Birthday to You," it's licensed. Exactly. Paul McCartney owns it. That's yeah. why he's nearly a billionaire. So if you go and be singing the song and you think that uh, it's a general song, you come and sing it here and see what happens. <laughs> no, it's not, the funny thing is, copyright is international. Exactly. So they don't need to like all they need is someone to find it. Mm-hmm. And then all they would do is just go through all our films and start, yeah. oh, they use it here. So those are show premiership matches on the screen behind when they're filming. You show a film, another person's film on TV. Exactly. All those things, once you're making money for it, they can sue you for, 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 for damages or for using yeah. their, their creation to, to make money. So I would hope we're licensing these songs. But anyway, <laughs> I won't say anything more than that. I think you know um, <laughs> Inconsistent grade at the beginning. Then they had this violin that was like music from the fifties. Oh, I would like just maybe t- can't make me think of the Godfather. I'd like, but my sound. I just think the extension would say, "I'm a Tony." Why are you not giving your husband this thing? <laughs> oh God! Then I wrote, "If you date a film, then be mindful of the language." Exactly. Um, there was one part where she was talking and she said, I'm, I'm a go-getter. I'm like, go-getter? Those doesn't sound like so. I can't remember. I imagine my mother said go-getter when I was a kid. It just sounds wrong. But, you know, it's, even mm. if it's not a negative, it's just when you date a film or you put a film in an era, be mindful of the language that you use or the words yeah. you use. Because even though it might be correct English, it might not be used like that in those days. So yeah. it doesn't matter negatives. Yeah. Um, while the scoring was quite good, so scoring obviously is the actual music, maybe you use a Whitney Houston uh, um, song or whichever song that you use, the incidentals. And incidentals are just like the music. We always talk about music, you know, comedy tunes and stuff like that. Incidentals in this, I didn't feel that they were in place. And some of those were the violin parts where you felt more like you were watching a gangster movie rather than you're watching a melodrama, <laughs> dramatic, romantic movie. Um, this is neither a negative or anything because it was the crux of the film, which is part of the story. But I'm just like, you know, you couldn't do your religious obligation before the night of the... That thing's still paining me <laughs> Oh, that was Gloria. Gladys, what was that name? Uh, uh, Gloria. Gloria. Uh, Gloria. He said, I'm like, no. And the worst name was that <laughs> That's why he's pinning me. Ah, uh, Like, no. What do you mean, no? Let me oh keep quiet. Because I watch this with my wife. My wife said, I hope I'm giving... It. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe we'll edit this part out of this thing. <laughs> I get into trouble. Oh, So I said, did it need to be dated? I mean, I... Like you said, Ramsey had this um, wig on his head, which it was very distracting, you know. That you get into the thing and then you ah, what is this thing that is... And some day you now wear some nonsense caps on top of it again and you're just like, yeah, I'm dressing like Baba Salah. I'm like, oh, that just didn't work for me. Baba <laughs> Salah! It was now what, what, I, with the flare trousers I'm, and the... I'm like, what's all that? I'm, I'm, I'm villains about criticizing them on that because I think they just made a creative choice to give it a particular kind of look. Did we look like that in what age? <laughs> no, it's the kid. It's the Afro. I agree with the Afro. They should have worked on that one better. But I don't know. I, I don't begrudge them dating it. But yeah, the thing is, I think what Adi is trying to say is if you're going to date it, then do it well. You have to do it well. And it, it also has to fit the story. Why are you dating it? I suppose maybe some of the some of the things she argued about have been answered in this generation, so it's hard to that I'm making a case for them, like devil's advocates. My guess is they're thinking we were more women had less freedom and there were more stereotypes in that era. 
Yeah. So it was easier to play to the stereotypes. And I, but I don't think Nigeria has moved a lot from that's the, the, my counter argument. So I'm arguing mm-hmm. against myself that, that I don't think we moved along that much to sense that maybe they will fit. So I still think those I still think those stereotypes fit today. But anyway, that's the different side of the story. Anyway, um, and then throughout the film, it was just the two of them. And Kyrie alluded to the fact that it was more like an art house style, more stagey. It's it, it's it's an easy film that you can easily move on to stage. Um, maybe it was written as a stage and then adapted to film, who knows. Um, and it's just the two of them. We, they talk to people on the phone, but you never get to see the other person on the other side or even hear the voice of the other person. So it's the two of them throughout. Yeah. But where I give them credit is the fact that um, there, there was nothing boring about the film. Yeah, it didn't drag. It carried it, it, it carried it through. I do think if they had added a couple of more characters, it would have given <laughs> a bit more life. That's just me. However, it's not a negative, it's not a positive, it's just a comment. Mm-hmm. Verdict. Verdict. Okay, I'm, I'm torn. I really want to give this film a 5 out of 5, honestly. No way! <laughs> I'm thinking a more, a more objective view is 4 out of 5. I think I, I got carried away, but I really enjoyed this film. The, the topic isn't that serious in terms of like edge shattering, but it, it just made me feel good that we took this, Nigerian filmmakers are taking this kind of a risk in making a film that's not the normal kind of film. Um, and on that level, I want to give it a five out. Of, I actually wrote five out of five. But what, if I'm being fair to other films that I've been harsh on, I think it's a four out of five. It's still a recommended film. Um, I don't think it's like you know top of the range, but it's a brilliantly well done job. Yeah, I was going to say it's a three out of five, but thinking about it like again, <laughs> because it's not that day. <laughs> It's, it's very strange where you keep seeing, there were so many scenes where she kept saying, Ade, Ade, <laughs> and you know, you're, you're looking, oh yeah, I'm watching the film. I, I'll stop calling my name. What's wrong with you? Ade, Ade, can you? Oh, but yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, there are parts of the film that I think that worked very well. There are parts mm-hmm. of it that I didn't, but because of the one line, I, I, that line was brilliant. That line is one of the best lines I've heard on anything that has to do with domestic violence even in all even in hollywood i don't exactly, think it's been yeah. explained like that yeah, before exactly. and i'll read it again it says it's not about what you did or what you said it's about what you're capable of now doing yeah. uh, i think that just sums it up and for that i'll give it a four out of five yeah. Yeah. i think let me just push that point a little bit more films have the power to change the way we exactly. think exactly and i think that line because i wouldn't I, I think even though i didn't write it down I remember that line as well. So when you yeah. said it, it I, I remember it because I thought, wow, it's that's so true. Line. It's so powerful that the way it imprints on the mind of the mm. person that's attacked is not so much that she's not forgiving you. Yeah. It's the fact that now I now have a threat. Yeah. The person who's supposed to protect me has now become someone who can potentially harm yeah. me. Exactly. And, and, and I think that line just encapsulates yeah. that feeling. Yeah. You know? The so, worst kind of feeling for a lady to have is the fact that will he hit me again? You get into an argument. What's going through our head is that, or you see women who, the limit. <laughs> yeah, or you see women whereby your relationship was fine till you hit her, and then all of a sudden, whenever you're talking to her, she flinches. Like uh, you can never really get back to that point. I mean, it's it's not impossible. God's grace is probably the only thing. It's not impossible, but you know, because she, she's ah, before he hits me again and he says his mistake, you know. <laughs> ah. But thank you for watching this episode of the Gist. You're the reason why we do this. Um, this film is kind of the films why, why we're reviewing stuff like this because to us films are not just about it's, it's about entertainment but it's more about the deeper things that can be said through film films change cultures they change, okay. they change society they change the way we think um, they change dress sense fashion you know uh, if, if, that's why we love filmmaking and we hope you enjoyed this episode head on over to nollywoodboulevard.com where you can find out more about this film every other film that we've reviewed If you haven't signed up, sign up. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, You can catch us on iTunes, YouTube, and Facebook. Thank you for watching this episode. And we'll see you next time on The Gist. So what do we say about subscribing? Do you know the the word subscribe comes from the Latin word sub and scribe? You are scribing and you're subbing at the same time. That does not make any sense. (laughs) (laughs)